Hello, I'm Bernie Thompson. I want to ask you a question about why do you continue to award um, stormwater contracts to uh, do better <coughs> when you know full well that uh, the partner at Dewberry, Cliff Nauer, is the boyfriend of your project manager, Kelly Jenkins. Why do you keep doing that when you know there's that conflict of interest? And, by the way, you were informed that the same guy, Cliff Nauer, Mr. Charmer, sent an email to a lady who lives in Low Water saying he was going to effing bury her in the effing gulf. Do you not have a moral turpitude clause or anything like that? None of you are concerned about that. Number two, I'm also concerned about the professional reputations of your staff. This is a very big deal because you throw them under the bus. Yesterday, I filed an official complaint with the state because the city was engaged in unlicensed activity when it built Popeye Park, and you know this. I got a public record from the clerk of the city who says there are no documents pursuant to the permits pulled by the city to build the pole barn at Popeye Park. That's illegal, and you know it's illegal. Also, you did not get a, an electrical contractor before the city connected electricity with Gulf Power. Does that not concern you, Vice Mayor McConnell? You're looking at me, it looked like you might have thoughts on that. Well, you're going to have to answer it at some point, maybe not to me, but soon. Uh, my third concern is about Mr. Businessman, who doesn't have any businesses anymore, Vice Mayor McConnell. About Mr. Businessman, who doesn't have any businesses anymore, Vice Mayor McConnell. Now, I understand that you are the senior manager for the project technology for a company in Virginia called Paratons. I'd like to know where he works, what he does, where does he get it? That doesn't pertain to city business. That's fair enough. Thank you. I'll concede that. Thank you, sir. I'll concede that. Thank you, sir. Number four, the county I just discovered through a forensic audit in a class action lawsuit has lost $8.7 million that it cannot account for out of its <coughs> building services fund. This fund you have as well. This is a fund that is funded by permits, permit fees by contractors. And by law, it can only be spent by the city and by the county in the building department. I'd like to know, because I've been told that you're spending that money outside of the building department, which is illegal. Is that true? Mr. Mayor, are you spending money outside the building services fund outside of the building department? Thank you. Does anybody else have any public comments for this evening?